Hey everybody and welcome to another update video. Uh, for this section we're going to be taking a look at my thriller type movies, um, going into type of mob type movies, uh, spies, uh, action movies, you know, where uh, you know, die hearts and stuff and uh, hitman assassins type stuff. So let's get straight to it, it's quite a big shelf. Um, I'd like to point out before starting the video, this is not my entire fuller section, I do have others in other shelves, which um, which uh, is, is just purely for room reasons, but uh, yeah, let's, let's get straight to it. Um, I'll start with this area first, and I'll go to the ones at the top, later on. Uh, we have Goodfellas. Uh, this is the uh, Tudor Special Edition. Uh, really fantastic film, Goodfellas. Really uh, fantastic kind of narration, third person view, the actual uh, oh, yeah, story. Fantastic. Uh, uh, Robert De Niro and uh, an amazing uh, type of cast. Really fantastic stuff. Um, I remember watching the first 10 minutes of it in uh, my second year at uh, a college, uh, film studies. I watched the first 10 minutes and I was really enticed, really glued to the actual storyline. I really wanted to uh, continue with it and see you know, uh, what, what happened. And, and I decided to um, went out and purchase it myself. I thought the special edition at a good price. Very happy to have that. Um, really fantastic movie. Um, it's quite violent. It is an 18 for a reason. There's a lot of uh, crime and a lot of drug use, and uh, it's kind of like one of those interesting movies that kind of go from a kid to all the way up to an adult. And uh, you know, it's time changes as you go along. You know, love changes. You know, the way you see the world changes. And it's one of those type of movies. And I really like it. It's got it's got a fantastic cast, fantastic uh, storyline. A really interesting mob type story, so good stuff. I, I like that. Um, next, we have uh, American Monster. This is the uh, Steelbook edition, the Tudor Special Edition with uh, the theatrical and the extended cut. The extended cut, I think, is better. It just adds more, well, it just adds more dialogue and adds more scenes to it, which is just makes the film a bit more as a whole. Um, a really fantastic movie, and this is, uh, I'll just point out, this is not an action movie. This is a uh, this is a straight up uh, biograph type drama, I, mean, I think that's a good way to describe it. Um, this is based upon true events that actually happened in uh, I think Manhattan, where it took place. Uh, really fantastic storyline, uh, just, uh, you know, where Denzel Washington plays uh, the first um, uh, type of big crime lord at the time there, and he, just, he, had, he had an idea to kind of change things in the streets and all that stuff and control the game. and. Uh, he, he saw power and he, he was a family man. He was not a baddie. That's what, that's what I liked about the movie because he wasn't a baddie character. He he, had, he he did bad things, you know, throughout the movie, but he had a good heart. He loved his family. He loved his wife and that stuff. And uh, he he wanted to, he wanted to change. He wanted to control crime. He wanted to you know control how it went and you know just. It was an interesting idea, you know, based upon an untrue idea. And Russell Crowe's character is a, is a detective, uh, a divorced detective you now. Um, it's just kind of miserable, and just, he's he's basically he's fed up because there's too many, there's too many rats and uh, crooked cops in his department. And you know, it, it's just really fantastic. And these two characters become like friends, and uh, in real life, they actually are best of friends now. I mean, I watched the extras, and uh, they actually were on the sets of the movie as they were making the movie, and. Uh, they actually are best of friends now, even even on today after something along those lines. Uh, they're getting on quite old and they're still best of friends, even though two different backgrounds, two different, even though the things they did and one being a cop, one being a crime lord, they, they actually are best of friends in real life and I think that's really fantastic and I really appreciate the movie. I think it stays true to the storyline and I really enjoyed it as an actual solo drama film. Good stuff. Um, we have Scarface, this is the uh, Tudor Special Edition. I don't need to say much more on that because I think everyone knows it's fantastic and you know, I like to get the Blu-ray at some point. I think the Blu-ray is uh, meant to be really fantastic, good looking one. So I'll probably get that uh, in opportunity now. You know, what more do you want? <laughs> uh, we have here The Departed, a special edition. Uh, another fantastic movie, The Departed. Uh, fantastic cast, fantastic script, fantastic soundtrack, fantastic idea. Just a blast watching the movie. I mean, it's fantastic. For, it's, it's a modern day mob type movie. You know, it has, it has rats, it has cops, it has all sorts, you know, it has a really fantastic range of ideas and Jack Nicholson's character is fantastic, he's a, he's a brilliant actor anyway and him playing as a an Irish type mob is amazing, amazing choice and, you know, it's like Matt, yeah, Matt Damon, uh, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, fantastic stuff, really, you know, they interact with all into each other, you know, 
from time to time and it's really fantastic. You get different point of views and it goes from Matt Damon's point of view for a little bit and then changes back to you know, DiCaprio and Jack Nicholson and you get a fantastic range of characters, fantastic range of uh, ideas thrown in there and it's it's really fantastic. Martin Scorsese, so it's one of his movies, so if you're familiar with his work you know he's pretty good and really fantastic movie. Fantastic ending. The ending I was generally wasn't expecting, the actual twist that actually happened, I wasn't expecting that to happen and it's one of the reasons I love it as well. <laughs> Uh, next we have the unusual, suspects, the, the unusual Suspects, the special edition. Again, I don't need to say that much about it because I think everyone knows it's fantastic. And uh, again, yet again, another amazing cast, another amazing twist as well. Uh, for you know, yeah, I mean, I think when I watched it, I didn't know the, the twist was that. I didn't know that. Um, but um, I was I was kind of guessing for the movie what it, what it, what it could be, and. The twist is actually funny, actually really fantastic. Uh, a fantastic movie throughout the stop from start to finish. Um, really great characters, really great um, again ideas thrown into there, and uh, it's told from an interesting point of view as well. And uh, I really like it. It's Brian Singer. He also did um, the X Men, uh, X Men One and Two. And it's one of his early movies. You know, time quite t crime type movies, which sort of made him who he is. The extras are really fantastic as well, like deleted scenes and uh, extras and behind the scenes and what they did and all that. It's really fantastic stuff. We really have to add that in my collection. Uh, next, we have uh, True Romance. This is the uh, two special edition director's cut. The director's cut is far better than the theatrical. I just again, it just adds more scenes, adds more extras, more character development. Just does a better, better movie all around the movie, but um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Um, love True Romance. Very, very first time I saw it, loved it, uh, wanted it, and then got it. Uh, it's it's a love story with a with a better twist. It's not a cliche type of love story. It is a crime. It is uh, an interesting um, kind of version of it. And the soundtrack's fantastic throughout. Uh, the characters are fantastic. Uh, it's just it's a really fantastic movie all around and I love the ideas about it and uh, yeah the, the two couples I really root for them the entire movie I mean they're just fantastic to watch and just it, it is an action movie as well it's got some really uh, earlier it's got some really great actors as well um, got got Brad Pitt uh, one of his, one of his early roles in that in that as well um, he wasn't known there back then it's got the late it's got the late uh, Dennis Hopper in there as well one of his best work and Christopher Walken. Uh, walking, uh, of course, Dennis, Dennis Hopper unfortunately uh, passed uh, passed away not too uh, not too long back, a couple of years back, and uh, yeah, it's just these movies are here to remember him by, and yeah, it's fantastic. His it scenes with uh, Christopher Walken, and uh, great dialogue stuff, and uh, great great ideas. Um, the deleted scenes also have um, an early version of uh, early uh, scenes with Jack uh, Jack Black in it as well, one of his uh, early work. So I don't know why they cut him out of the movie. I think it was just for time purposes. But uh, yeah, he was he's, he's, he was originally in the movie as well, but uh, just didn't need his scenes, which uh, it, it, it happens that way. It happens that way. Uh, next we have No Country for Men. This is the uh, HMV exclusive steelbook edition. Uh, fantastic to have this edition. Really limited. This is really hard to get now. I think. Uh, loved No Country for Men. Uh, it's a modern day type of. Uh, I don't know what, what's the word, what's the word for it. Um, I want to say it's got that western type feel to it. Um, but it's also got that kind of uh, kind of mob type feel, that kind of cat and mouse uh, type thing. Really intense stuff. Really fantastic. He's a, he's a fucking sucker. I love his I love his character. I love the way he sees things. I love the he's lo I love his weapon of choice. That kind of uh, that air canister type thing. I love his shock silencer shotgun. I think that's a really fantastic signature. Tommy Jones is fantastic. Uh, it's a great cast all around. Yep, for winner for uh, for winner of uh, best Academy picture for, 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 winner of. Uh, four Academy Awards Best Picture, and I think it deserves that absolutely. It is fantastic. It is a well done, well written, well dialogue, and it's one of those movies that you're just going to remember for a very long time. And I enjoy it every single time I watch it. I think it's overdue to be watched soon, so I think I will be watching that. <laughs> uh, next we have History of Honor. Another fantastic movie. Another type mob type movie. Um, Yet again, another fantastic cast. Uh, um, another fantastic. I love the idea about it as well, and um, the way it's presented. And uh, I, lo I love the last uh, half an hour. I think that was really fantastic. You know, it's just it, you don't know what to make of it, make out with it. You know, and you watch it and like, yeah, this is really good. This is really intense. I love the characters. I like the build up, and uh, I'm just curious to see how they're going to end this. And the ending I thought was really fantastic. And it shows um, this character in a completely different light, and uh, yeah, I, I really really enjoy it, and. Uh, yeah, it is absolutely brilliant. 
a fantastic script, fantastic dialogue, some really great action scenes, and it is quite violent for an 18 as well, and all that. So it's definitely worth a watch. If you haven't watched it, I recommend it. I, uh, I think you will enjoy it. It's one of those good uh, type of thriller movies, one of those hardcore, one of those really good ones to watch. Definitely. Uh, next we have The Fugitive, the uh, special edition. Um, again, I don't want to say too much about it because I think, again, it's established, it's one of Harrison Ford's best movies, Tommy Lee Jones movies, and um, done fantastically. Again, of a type of, it's a few, guy in the run, he's innocent, we know he's innocent, and he's got to prove it, and that's the point. And Tommy Lee Jones' character and his investigation team are basically trying to track him down, bring him in, but also, he's not an idiot, he's, he's also looking at the evidence as well, he's really looking at the footage and the evidence they had against him and just reading interview scenes and stuff, and, um, yeah, really fantastic stuff, and it's, you know, it was the guy with the one arm man, you know, it's great stuff, it's, it's fantastic, you know, great dialogue, great scripting, uh, great action scenes, based upon a TV series, which I didn't realise until I watched the extras, good stuff, the extras are really fantastic documentary and all that, and how they did some of the stunts and the ideas about it, and, Good stuff, I like, I like the Fugitive, it's one of my favourite thriller movies. Next we have a kind of a sequel, it's, uh, it has the same cast of Tommy Jones and his team from The Fugitive. Uh, and, um, this time it's a different type of uh, storyline. Um, this one's called US Marshals and it's, again he's chasing down The Fugitive but this time it's a bit more... Um, not as black and white as the other one was. It's a bit more into uh, CIA and and a bit more of a, you know, a cover up and uh, more of a falsely accused uh, uh, type of movie. And uh, Wesley Snipes is one of his best movies, I think, apart from the Blade trilogy. Uh, yeah, Robbie Jones, Ronnie Jones Jr. is fantastic in that as well, and Tommy Jones is great. And uh, as, as, it has a completely different feel from The Fugitive in this one. Same type of uh, same type of writer and uh, and uh, same type of feel, but of course. It's not Harrison Ford. <laughs> we, we really enjoyed it. I really love, love the uh, this kind of a sequel to it. I think it works really, really well and uh, it's very enjoyable. That's some good twists and uh, yeah, good, good movie all around. Uh, next we have Insomnia. This is a movie that took me ages to get. Um, I think uh, this is uh, one, two, three, four. This is my I think fourth or fifth. Christopher Nolan movie. I love all of his. Mo I love all of his movies. Um, he's a fantastic director, and yet again, uh, Insomnia is another pure prime example of good directing, good writing, good uh, ca smart uh, characters to pick, and fantastic. Robin Williams, uh, obviously, he's oh, man. If you like his comedy work and you haven't seen anything really dark and serious, I mean, you need to watch this. this is like kind of like it's kind of like number twenty. Number twenty one, like Jim Carrey, he's, he's great. He's great, great, really great at comedy. He's really great at uh, making people laugh. But in that movie, number twenty one, on the Truman Show, he's also great as an actual actor, and he can play some dark stuff and um, go into places where you didn't exactly expect to see. And so does uh, Robin Williams. He, he he goes into a character that you don't expect, and you think, "Whoa, Robin Williams did that? Oh, fucking hell!" I, it's, it's that type of movie you wouldn't expect and he, he's fantastic. Uh, Al Pacino is also really great as well, he's, he's always great in his movies and he plays the detective really, really fantastically as well. Really fantastic movie. Um, from the director of Mento, The Dark Knight and that's a Christopher Nolan if you're familiar with his work. Really fantastic uh, uh, storyline. I, I really enjoy watching it. It's so uh, dark and gritty and just it's got a really good tone to it and I really like it and it's a really, it's a really interesting uh, idea. Based upon like you know, it's based upon like uh, it's based upon an actual um, original movie, original Japanese movie, I think, or a Swedish movie. So it's kind of like a remake, in a sense. But um, it's it, it's a it's a really good remake. It's a really well done remake. So yeah, definitely, definitely check that out if you haven't watched that already. Uh, next we have Enemy of the State. This is the extended version. Uh, Will Smith and the Gene ha uh, Gene Hartman. Uh, Another great cat and mouse chase movie. Also an interesting movie. Uh, one of those message type movies as well about technology and how far we're willing to go. Uh, basically, uh, Will Smith's character gets gets caught up in something that's a conspiracy, as something that uh, he shouldn't have got, kind of thing. You know, witness witnessed a murder, and it's, it goes from there. But much he's on the run, and they, they bug his uh, phone, his uh, his house. They put tracking devices on him. They they, they surveil him, satellites and stuff. Uh, it's basically showing how far technology can basically go you know and um, how far we're gonna how far would we let the government's kind of um, 
have that power and um, if the wrong people had that kind of technology would they use it for their own, own purposely selfish needs and that's the whole point of the movie I think and it's one of the world's most best and I think it's well acted it's got a really interesting idea and uh, it's got a good hidden message underneath it as well um, I really enjoyed the uh, Enemy of the State it's got some good action scenes and good, good ideas and uh, it's just it's really interesting how far the government could actually really go and how you know abuse the power they've been given and it's, it's one of those movies it's really great recommend you check it out see what you think uh, next we have Conair, this is the extended version. Uh, this is, <laughs> if you like The Rock, you can definitely going to enjoy this movie. It is got some cheesy elements, it's got some, you know, kind of 90s action scenes. Um, for me, I absolutely love it. I think it's really, f I think it's fantastic. It's a great action movie. It's got some really great quotes and lines. Nicolas Cage as well, it's great in it. And um, Joe Cusack. And uh, it's, it's got a fantastic cast. It's got a fantastic idea. I love the idea of the cons taking over a plane and they're just trying to escape and all that. And it's, it's great. It's just really great. It's kind of typical action movie cliche in some scenes and all that. Uh, so, depending on what you, depending on what you like, really. But, um, Con is a really great movie to us. It's, it's got a good soundtrack, it's got, a, got some really good acting and good action scenes and stuff in it as well. And it was one of Nicolas Cage's uh, really good, one of, one of Nicolas Cage's really good action movies, 18 specific action movies. He's, he's going to be more of a kid friendly movie than recently, which is, you know, it's, it's good, but it's like, you know, this is one of his early type stuff, and it's, it's great to see him at yeah, his prime, really. Yeah, so, Con Air, I reckon you check it out. Uh, next we have uh, Fast Five. This is the uh, Blu-ray edition. Uh, really surprising movie, Fast Five. Um, now, in case you haven't noticed, I don't have any of the others. That's because Fast Five is a completely game changer of a movie. Um, it is a pure heist movie. It is a. It is a. Um, it is a bank robbery type movie. It is. It is. A, it, is a, it is a cat and mouse type chase feel to it as well. Fantastic acting, fantastic action scenes, great storyline, and it works as, as a solo movie. If you haven't watched any of the other movies, you could watch that by itself and not watch any of the others. It's fantastic. It's it focuses less. It doesn't. It basically has very um, uh, little to do with the street racing and uh, you kind of the R&B type music and all that type of style that the others did. It focuses more upon them as actual characters, and um, it is it is really really fantastic. And they're just you know. Uh, uh, Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. He's a he's a part of like a police force or something, you know, special special forces type thing. And he's but he's sent that he's sent to kind of track him down and bring him down. It's fantastic. Him and uh, Vin Diesel has a, has a full on fight scene, which is amazing. Really great choreography in that one. It's really great. Uh, the casting is fantastic as well, and uh, it, it it's done really well. I was generally surprised with uh, Fast Five. Um, I watched the first fa Fast and Furious. Thought it was okay. Second one, I didn't like at all. Third one, Tokyo Drift, I thought was okay. Didn't finish it completely. Fourth one was good. Same director, and it just linked with the fifth one in, in a sense. But there was something missing with it. It still focused more on the street racing stuff, and it was good, but it, it, it was missing something. This one um, had everything that I wanted. Everything I wanted to see. A great characters, a great idea, a great story. the plot is really fantastic and it's it's really great. I, I seriously do recommend it. I'm trying to get my uncle to watch it because um, he's watched the Fast and Five movies and he doesn't like it, he knows what to expect. The kind of once you've got a certain kind of reputation for some of these movies, you don't really care for the others and you don't really give the others a chance. I'm trying to, you know, talk him into actually watching this movie and uh, We'll see what happens. I'll keep you posted upon that. But I seriously recommend Fast Five. If you haven't watched any of the others and you want a good, really good action movie, good heist type movie, bank robbery type movie, I recommend Fast Five. It's got great ideas, great cast, great storyline. Seriously recommend it. They are planning on doing a uh, Fast uh, Six. Um, I'm looking forward to. That's going to be really good. Same, same director, same writer. And it also has David Tennant, uh, Doctor Who, who's going to be in it. Uh, it's been one of the cast members. Which has made, just made that movie even better. I love David Tennant, and I think him in a in a, in a kind of in a kind of like a chase type movie, you know, kind of cars and guns and action and all that stuff would be interesting. I'd love to see what he does. So looking forward to that. Uh, Robert, uh, Robert De Niro, uh, another great type of uh, car chase type movie, bank robbery type movie. Basically, the movie is uh, uh, so you got you got CIA's, you got hitman, you got uh, assassins, you got all sorts of different 
to kind of characters from walk through different lives we were brought together to do one simple job you know just i think it's i think it's just a simple kind of pick up type job you know work together do it you get some money out of the end of it and you can go your own separate ways and of course it goes very wrong you know their, their loyalty gets betrayed very easily and basically get caught up in a load of shit which is uh yeah very very bad and robert, uh, robert de niro's character is um really very fantastic and he's just He's, just, he's an ex-CIA, which he's just he's been betrayed before, and he's so pissed off, and he, he's, he I don't know, he reacts so different ways to the other characters do, and he's he doesn't he really does not want to get back back into this business. He doesn't like it anymore, and um, yeah, it's really fantastic. It's set in uh, pa Paris, which is a really fantastic uh, location. They did really fantastic cinematography as well, and uh, great action scenes. It got a really interesting feel, really vibe to it, and I think it's true to. Um, the actual uh, location, the actual country it was in, you know, it's it's got some it's got some really great themes to it, and it's got a storyline. I think it's really fantastic, and uh, yeah, uh, there's there's a couple of scenes which you wouldn't, I think you wouldn't be, you wouldn't expect to see in this type of movie, but um, yeah, it pushes conventions, and I think it does uh, something a little different, which is always good to see. So yeah, I recommend uh, that movie. For sure. Uh, next we have Eat. To the special edition, yet again another movie I don't need to talk about because uh, it is fantastic. Uh, Heat is one of the best movies uh, for the type bank robbery type movies I have ever seen. Michael uh, Michael Manor uh, also did the uh, Collateral. Uh, he's also done uh, Manhunter, a lot of other movies. Uh, the only Public Enemy that I was disappointed with. I think it's the only movie I didn't like by him. But yeah, Heat absolutely fantastic. Al Pacino, uh, Robert, De uh, Robert De Niro. Uh, Val Kilmer, fantastic, just just fantastic, great tone, great soundtrack, the, the ending soundtrack is amazing, absolutely amazing, and the chemistry between all these characters is fantastic, the way the, again it's like, you know, Abertine's a cop, he's tracking him down, he's trying to find stop him, and of course Robert De Niro, he's, he's a professional bank robber, and he has a certain way of styling us, and they, they, they do come together, the interview table scene, well, they actually do meet up and say like, well, this is what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. You know, this is you know, this is kind of a peace treaty at the moment. It's just going to talk about what's going on, and I love that. It's really fantastic, and the dialogue, yeah, I can quote word for word. The soundtrack's fantastic. The script's fantastic. The ideas are fantastic. You know, I, I'm not going to go on too much longer because I think everyone knows how it's good. If you don't have this movie in your collection, I think you need to go and buy it. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, next we have Unknown. This is a uh, independent uh, movie. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Wesmo Dogs meets uh, Lamento. That's that type of same feel. Basically, a bunch of kidnappers, and victims, and you know whatever, all wake up in this kind of locked uh, kind of warehouse. I think I'm guessing, and they have very little memory of what just happened. Something has gone down. People are dead. Uh, some have been injured. What, some have been cuffed up. What has happened? They don't know. They don't know who they are. They don't know what's just happened. Something, something has um, made them forget. I think they've got, they've got some short term amnesia, and that's what it is. And um, that's what the movie entails. It, it goes from their, the group's point of view, who they are, trying to figure out who, what, what background they are. Are they good guys? Are they bad guys? You know. And I love that it just plays that out for the entire movie. And um, there's a kind of a, there's, a, there's something else going on while that's going on at the same time. There's a kind of like a mob and. Um, Brian Crab we're going at the same time, which links to the main storyline, of course, of that. And it's really fantastic, great acting, and it's got some good, really good twists as well. And um, situation type movies. Um, if you watch a film called The Exam, and uh, uh, you probably like this as well, it's got that same type of feel. If you like Resume Dogs, it's got that same type of feel to that as well, like Elemento and all that. Really fantastic, great, great acting as well. For an independent movie, it's 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 set in one location, so you know you don't need high budget or anything like that. Uh, it's, got, it's got some good fight scenes as well, it's got some really good cinematography and the extras I watched as well and that's really fantastic and you know they talk about the script and talk about the locations and the making of it and just you know it's an all around fantastic movie and it's, you, you enjoy it, it is very very gripping and you want to know what happens at the end. The ending is got, it's kind of like a double twist type thing, uh, we recommend it unknown, the, it, that's um, the independent unknown not the, uh, the Leslie Nielsen unknown so there's not get confused between those two movies.